Hello friends, it's Editing Nicole here. I just realized that I never did an introduction for this video, so here I am doing that. But basically, as the title suggests, this is just a bookshelf organization video slash unhaul slash vlog. I hope you enjoy. There's a lot of dumb content, but nonetheless, I hope you like this video. And onto the quality content that you came here for. I've been trying to get this angle right for a while, but I think this is as good as it's gonna get. I have four boxes here. Let me try to show you them. Um, <laughs> okay. So they're just four random huge boxes full of books, and I'm going to be taking them out and putting them on shelves, and I'm gonna show you that. Simple as that, I guess. <laughs> So this took me about half an hour and for some reason it was really tiring, <laughs> but yeah, many more fast forward clips to come. Okay, so as you just saw, I took all of the books out of the boxes and now I'm left with this amazing mess. Beautiful. But, um, I definitely had less books than I thought I did, which is a good thing. Uh, and I've also never had, like, shelves like these. Like, they're pretty nice. I've never had bookshelves like this, so I've never had my books on display in this way. So, because of that, I think it's gonna be much easier for me to unhaul books, since they're gonna be out on display. And that's what I'm doing right now. I've already started, actually. So these are my two keep pack, pack, pie, pile? Can't speak. And then so far I have unhauled all of these. So far I have unhauled the Aguero Sisters by Christina Garcia. I don't know, I want to keep this. If I talk about it, I might keep it, to be completely honest, because I did say I want to read more um, Hispanic women authors, and this is both of them. And I think I just convinced myself to keep this book. This is already going amazingly. <laughs> the Faithful Garden by Clarissa, Clarissa Pinkola Estes, which is the author of Women Who uh, Run With The Wolves. This copy of Naked Lunch, I just don't like, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I bought The Cellar. That's all I'm gonna say about that. I bought it, don't want it anymore. <laughs> very bad girl interrupted i've had this since high school um i don't think i highlighted anything or made any notes but i enjoyed it when i was 15 don't think i'll ever read this again and i don't think i should keep it miami by joan didion um because i was never really interested in it i just saw that it said it was about miami so i wanted it but whatever this book hyperbole and a half i think one of my ex-boyfriends gave me this um and i don't know i think i've outgrown these comics but that's that's my reason <laughs> so now i'm just gonna keep unhauling and organizing books and i'm going to uh fast forward through this part and then cut when i have a substantial pile to show you my unhaul and i'm i'm this is can you tell how tired i am can you i can't speak So doing a quick check-in of the books that I'm unhauling. Um, some of these are also my boyfriend's books, so he might change his mind and keep them. I'm unhauling All Quiet on the Western Front um, because this, I don't know, I do like looking at these copies, like these small old mass market paper pack, paper packs, paperbacks. Man, <laughs> every time I like start talking about a book I'm unhauling, I kind of want to keep it um i think i'm gonna keep this i think i am i i really want to read this and i also do really like the cover so i'm keeping it i'm unhauling this uh warcraft day of the dragon you know pretty girls by karen slaughter as well as another book by her the good daughters um i read this it was absolutely insane but it is so disturbing that i don't want to have a copy of it. Does that make sense? 
Um, also, I'm not going to reread that because it's traumatizing. So, This copy of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is just way too ugly. It has like random writing all over it. Um, I used to go to this used bookstore that used to be open and just buy a bunch of books that I wanted to read, but they were in really bad condition. So that's why I have so many of these. I'm getting rid of this as I walked out one midsummer morning by Lori Lee. Don't even know what this is about, but I don't know. If I haven't read it, I'm not gonna read it. Never Cry Wolf. Don't know what this is. I think it's my boyfriend's. Um, here's The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. I haven't read it and I just kind of don't want to read her books because they were a little too much for me. Um, this copy of To Kill a Mockingbird in Spanish, I gave it to my mom years and years ago. She read it, she's not gonna reread it, and I have no purpose keeping a Spanish copy of To Kill a Mockingbird. Um, I also went through a phase when I was like 14 or 15 when I looked up the books that Marilyn Monroe would read, and then I found these two. Uh, Winesburg, Winnesburg, Ohio, and Sister Carrie, but these copies are a little gross. Like they're kind of ugly even again like i love old battered books but now that i have real bookshelves i kind of want to have nicer looking copies um so i'm gonna get rid of these two this copy of franny and zoe by jd salinger no reason i just want to have a nice copy of it um i think i tried to remove this like library plastic coating and i kind of couldn't and it's a pretty beat up copy so i don't want to keep it i do have a collection of jd salinger um we share a birthday and that's probably why i feel so connected to him but i'm probably just gonna get myself a better copy of franny and zoe a streetcar named desire by tennessee williams um as much as i love marlon brando i don't have a reason to keep this specific copy even though I've already read the play and I don't plan on rereading it even though I loved it I did like it a lot but this copy of The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison I think I'm actually gonna keep this because the cover is beautiful look at it I really like it and like yeah it's a little it's pretty messed up but I really like this copy Notes from the Underground by Fyodor Dostoevsky me trying to be edgy in high school, trying to read these books that I couldn't understand. And then There Were None by Agatha Christie. I listened to the audiobook over the summer and, or last year, I think. Yeah, last year. Don't have a point in rereading re it. This copy of Eleanor and Park that I stole from Barnes and Noble when I used to work there. Don't tell the managers. Okay, just to be clear, I didn't actually steal it from the store. As an employee of Barnes & Noble, you can borrow hardcover books, but I just forgot to ever give it back. So, But um, even though I do really, really like this book, it doesn't have the sleeve. I should probably keep this. <laughs> like, it's, it's from Barnes & Noble from when I used to work there. So it has some sentimental value, right? I'm keeping it, sorry. This selected copy, selected poems of Oscar Wilde. Don't really like this edition. My boyfriend's probably gonna want to keep this, but The Art of Fiction by uh, John Gardner. I think he read it for class. He has a bookmark. Oops. He had a bookmark on page seven, so maybe he's not gonna read that. And then this copy of Walt Women Selected Poems. Again, me trying to be edgy in high school. My uh, senior quote was actually a Walt Women uh, quote because that was annoying. And that copy is kind of ugly. So now I'm left with this. And then I have these, which I'm gonna keep. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep unhauling them. So these are all the books I'm going to be keeping. It's quite a few. I'm getting rid of these here as well as these in the box. I'm going to be donating them to the library and Goodwill. 
Hello, it's the next morning. Um, obviously, I didn't finish showing you all of the books that I unhauled. And that's because I had to poop really bad. <laughs> so I just went to go. Then I showered and I went to bed. And I just forgot about what I was doing. But um, I basically just unhauled a bunch of really weird, obscure, old books that I had no more interest in there like that's really that's it um I'm getting ready for work right now or class I don't know I don't even know like what my life is about <laughs> anyway cute uh yeah so I'm gonna go get ready go to class come back um and then I'm gonna finish but this is what it looks like I also have two suitcases full of my comic books and graphic novels, like me and my boyfriend's combined. I don't know if I'm going to put those on the shelf in the room, probably, because there, there's going to be space. But yeah, I just wanted to check in and let you know what's going on. So I'll see you when I come back. It's voiceover time again, so clearly I'm just organizing the books into their respective shelves. At the end of this video, I will show you each individual shelf and tell you how I'm organizing them. But basically, every shelf is its own genre. Can you guess what genre this shelf is? <laughs> it's kind of easy. But yeah, enjoy. So I've moved on to the second bookshelf. And I was really surprised at how many books these bookshelves can hold, which is a good thing. But now I want more books, so. We finally got to the graphic novel and comic book suitcases. My boyfriend was sitting on the bed, so I was showing him each one individually, just in case. And there's Teddy, my assistant. So the way I was organizing these as I was taking them out of the suitcases was by publishing house because I wanted to organize it in that way on the shelves. I was also separating the graphic novels from the single issue comic books. And there's a second suitcase. Yeah, there were just so freaking many comic books. Everything was going fine though, until I was attacked. My friends, if you know me in real life at all, you know how much I am absolutely terrified of cockroaches. But I feel the same way about this other guy called a silverfish. I am not going to insert a photo because I don't want to look up the photo and paste it onto my video. So please google it if you don't know what it is. Um, it landed on my leg. I clearly freaked out. But after this, Kevin had to finish putting away the comic books because I really just couldn't touch them anymore. And I relaxed, took a break, had some dinner, and came back. Had some nachos. Now I'm back. So, we unhauled. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to show you all my comics. This is not a good angle. Okay. <laughs> so, I have this shelf that only has Lord of the Rings. And I have a shelf down here. And basically this one too. This is just my uh, photo scanner, but it's not going to be there forever. So I'm probably going to get rid of that. And then maybe those two only are going to be comics. I don't, uh, I don't know what to do with this shelf. I don't know what to do with that one. But I'll give you an overview at the end of everything. So here's another time lapse. This was the absolute longest task of this entire bookshelf organization thing because I had to put each comic book into its own sleeve and this all took me 50 minutes. I don't know why it took me so long, but it did, but it's fine. I've been meaning to do this for a really long time, so I'm really happy that I got it done and it makes the shelves look a lot better. For some reason, the clip also ends very abruptly, like it didn't really record the rest of the shelf organization, but I'll show you it now. So as you saw, I'm done with everything. 
I'm so tired. I'm going to film a bookshelf tour. Not now because I'm gonna die, but I will film a bookshelf tour when I finish decorating and putting up like little decorations. And that'll be a separate video, but for now, I guess I can give you an overview since you've uh, stuck around for so long. So let me do that. All right, bear with me. I'm using the flash on my phone because I don't have um, proper lighting in this room, but top shelf, ooh, okay, hello hand. Top shelf is horror and sci-fi. This shelf is women authors. This shelf is classics. This shelf is my YA. This shelf, ooh. This shelf is young readers. This shelf is male authors. Now we can come over here. Not done with this shelf, obviously. This top shelf is a mix of nonfiction and Murakami. This is gonna be my Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings shelf. This is um, plays and theater books and science. This is modern classics, if you will. I don't know if that's even, like, a proper term or genre. Genre. Um, okay. Subject. And my comics that I finally finished. So this top shelf is DC. That's it. <laughs> and then Vertigo, Image, other publishers, and Marvel. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it wasn't excruciating. I have many here, so... I hope it wasn't excruciatingly boring. Um, like I said, stick around. Please look forward to my official bookshelf tour. It'll be my first one ever because like I said uh, earlier in this video, I have never had a proper display for my books, like bookshelves like this. So I'm very excited and so is Minnie. She's very confused. She's like, why are you guys moving all these boxes and all of these things, like what's going on? But it's fine. Um, thanks. Bye. <laughs>